Hi successful artists, my name is Katie Frid and welcome to my podcast series about how to make money online from your artwork and raising money for your art project using crowdfunding. This podcast is about targeting the right people for your project. You really need to make sure you're aiming for the right buyers for your crowdfund project. If you do decide to make a large scale project, there's no point aiming for the wrong people who are not going to be interested in supporting your project. You need to work out which demographic is going to be more sympathetic to fulfilling the project. For example, the book I've written is mainly for artists, but is also about depression and following your dreams if you are an artist. So I need to think about who would be interested in reading that kind of material. But that is likely going to be a lot easier than selling your artwork directly for a reasonable price before you're well known. I have found that if your work looks like it took a lot of time and you can find the right people, you might get a lot of money for it. But if you took a lot, if it took a lot of thought, but doesn't look like it took a lot of time, it isn't going to be able to command the same amount of money, especially online, unless you've made a name for yourself or someone else is selling it, and you on their on your behalf. Also, artwork is so subjective and so tied up in identity. People who may want to support you but not be so keen on your artwork with the mind to display it in their homes because it doesn't fit with their, the image they're trying to portray or even that it just doesn't go with their curtains. But if you're offering something else to buy or a different format in which they can buy your work and support you that considers the suitability for a wider range of people, you'll be much more likely to make a sale. So if your artwork is unsuitable for the home environment, putting it in a book would be a good way to sell it. If it is artworks such as this, your customers are going to be artists or cultured people, or if selling cards with a more generic picture, your cards could be for anyone. Though from my experience, I think it's usually women that buy greetings cards. Always try to imagine who your customers actually are as it really helps when targeting them either with advertising or other ways of connecting. That's all for this podcast. Make sure you listen to my next podcast about the written description part of your crowdfund project and if you think this podcast could be helpful to someone you know please do share it with them. Goodbye!